all kinds of combat sports out there, from MMA to Jiu-Jitsu to sword combat to fencing, all these kinds of things. However, not many has made the same impact that boxing has on our collective consciousness. Boxers are some of the most intense athletes out there, being able to take hits and give out knockout blows on a daily basis, essentially. And so that's why it's even more astounding when you can be the top tier of boxing, right? The top tier of a sport that's existed for thousands of years. I mean, fist fighting has basically been around since the dawn of humans. And to be the best at it, that's amazing. And so there needs to be a level of respect placed on the man's name when you get to be crowned the GOAT of boxing. And that name is Muhammad Ali. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators on the Subaru hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. Now, before we get into why Ali is the GOAT, consider dropping a like for this video and subscribing so you don't miss any of this week's Black History Week. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a full week here on this channel with extra content all geared towards Black History Month. It's actually the first themed week on this channel that I'll be doing once every couple months. But let's get into it. Now, Ali has fought in many, many matches, specifically 61 matches, 56 of them being wins. But he fought one of his most famous bouts and won at 4 a.m. because Zare's dictator wanted it, the fight to actually happen in its capital city in 1974. That fight being the GOAT Muhammad Ali versus the fearsome George Foreman. Both getting paid what was back then $5 million just to show up and fight, not even win. That's 1974 $5 million, which is uh, a little over $30 million today. Jeez, like imagine just showing up and getting paid $30 million. Like just because you showed up, you don't have to win. You don't have to win. You just get 30 million. Sign me up, please sign me up. I don't even care who it's against. He also won the Summer Olympics in 1960. However, he doesn't have that medal. Why doesn't he have that medal? Good question. Because to protest racism, he threw that crap in the Ohio River. Some say he actually just misplaced it somewhere and some say he still have it. It's technically unclear. However, the medal's never been found. And he says he threw it in the Ohio River. So until proven otherwise, so clearly he's been in plenty of fights and won plenty of money. However, the gloves he wore to defeat Liston earned him more money than the actual fight paid him. Now, that doesn't mean the fight didn't pay him. Like, he won $630,000. So, for $630,000, sign me up. I'm in. However, the gloves, <laughs> the gloves, they were third. They were sold for $836K. 836 bands. Like, 836 bands. Do you know what I would buy with $836,000? That's life changing money for a pair of gloves. For a pair of gloves? And these are the gloves of a person who only started a fighting career because his bike was stolen when he was 12. No, for real, I'm serious. He literally got jumped and beat up and got his bike stolen when he was 12. And the police officer he was talking to was also a boxing trainer and suggested that he try out boxing. Literally only six weeks after he started, he won his first boxing match, setting the stage for the next 55 wins. I'm sorry, not 55. 56. Yeah, he literally had a 91% win rate. And with 37 of those wins being knockouts, his total knockout rate is like 60%, which is still passing. That's crazy. Like statistically, statistically, you're gonna lose, but you're also not just gonna lose, you're gonna get knocked out. And that's just phenomenal. I mean, if that doesn't prove that he is the greatest of all time, then I don't know what does. Ali's legacy will absolutely stand the test of time, but I hope you enjoyed this video and consider letting me know who I should do next. I know I did Ronda Rousey, I did um, Bruce Lee, and honestly, I'm not sure who I'm gonna do next. So give me some ideas down in the comments below. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about Ronda Rousey or this other one about Bruce Lee.
either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.